guest speaker for Innovation Days. But before Tony addresses us, there's just a little piece of business I've got to attend to. And that's the delivery of the 100 A320 to Air Asia. And that's the beautiful airplane right out there. And I think we should give that a round. I was just talking to, to Tony about this. It's been 10 years uh, since Air Asia was founded. In fact, he had the luck of starting his first flight on September 8, 2001. Think about what happened to aviation just a few days later. But we started talking to Tony, and by the way, that was with a 737. Uh, we started talking to Tony in, in 2002, 2003, 2004. It takes a while, we talk slowly. But uh, we finally did a deal. It was uh, December 5th in uh, 2004 for 60 aircraft. And it is one of the deals I'm most proud of in my entire life. Because Tony was operating 737s. A lot of people on his team wanted to just stay with it. Boeing was pushing very hard to just replace those leased aircraft with NGs. And he made the decision that really paid off, I hope, for your company, uh, but also for us. Because now we're up to 375 aircraft. That's right, that 60 airplanes in December of 2004 was followed next summer at the air show by exercising options for 40. Then by the end of the year, another 50. Now there's a real growth trajectory going on here. Uh, then another 25. And then the order last year for 200 A320 NEOs. So Tony is now one of the largest operators in Asia, the largest operator in Southeast Asia, but he's soon going to be one of the largest operators, if not the largest operator of Airbus aircraft in the entire world. Tony, thank you very much for that. Now, his guests and technology. Uh, it says here I should mention that uh, he's operating today over 150 routes and has carried to date over 140 million passengers. And by the way, almost all of them have been on Airbus aircraft. And I think everyone will agree that the results have been a win win situation for both companies. For Airbus, as I just uh, delineated, it got up to 375 aircraft. Uh, Tony and I are going to find a little bit of time this afternoon to perhaps talk about a little bit more. <laughs> you know, it's not a round number, it's 375. We can do better than that. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I would just uh, ask you to once again join me in offering a warm welcome and big round of applause for one of the stars of the low-cost market, Tony Fernandez. Tony. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Well, I don't think you had much of a choice. Uh, morning to Louis and uh, Tom. Uh, this is just a uh, a quick introductory speech, really, about the plane. Uh, <clears throat> and John Paul, who supplies our engines, and John, who gives us a fantastic service and price, and Kieran, who has to clean up whenever I'm upset. <laughs> uh, That's the biggest job. <laughs> no, it is, it's been an amazing story for us, and uh, later on today, we'll tell you about our story over the last 10 years. But the great thing about AirAsia is that we've always had fun doing what we do and building what we've built. But we can't do it without great partners. And I'm not saying that because I'm in an Airbus building. And they won't let me out if I don't say that. Um, it's really the truth. I always speak my mind. We would not have been here without the tremendous support we had received from Airbus all the way back from 2004. Uh, no airline could grow like us without the support of a, a great partner who sees us through the good times and the bad times. And, and coming here today, actually I was very nicely picked up by Louis uh, from Paris to come here. It reminded me of some of the dark days when, you know, during the oil crisis when we were um, uh, lost a lot on hedging and we had to come to Airbus and ask for some help. And they sent me a, a 
private jet to pick us up, the small private jet, uh, not like the one Louis picked us up in today. And um, the weather was very, very bad. You know, we were like tossed around and going all over the place. And I told my partner, Kamarudin, it would be good if we crashed and survived because then Airbus would feel very guilty and give us a bigger discount. Didn't quite get the same response. But the, the truth of the matter, we landed safely and uh, Airbus helped us out and uh, we continued to grow. Uh, so uh, I will tell you later on about our relationship, but it has been a very special relationship. And I see many of our, our dear friends who have helped us along the way uh, to get to where we are. But one man really has played an enormous role in uh, helping us grow, uh, and that is Louis Galois. And today, we name this plane after him wow. for his tremendous help. It was supposed to be in the evening. <laughs> He's endured a lot with me. He's had to come to nightclubs with me. Um, he's had no to. With you. Uh, no with you. I won't tell you all the things he's done with me. Uh, I'll leave it at the nightclub. But uh, he's always been a friend. He's always been there uh, to help us deliver where we are. So when we talked about the hundredth play, we thought, what better way to say thank you than to indelibly put his name on our plane to thank him and to remember him for all the help that got us to where we are, from an airline 10 years ago, from two planes, to now 100, and as John says, uh, another 275 to come, and maybe a bit more by the time I leave here, uh, depending, depending on John, and Tom, and the new CEO of Fabrice. Uh, it has been an incredible ride, and Louis, thank you very much for uh, the warmth, the friendship, the patience, and uh, the belief. The key thing in Airbus, you can't see that in innovation, you can't see that in any presentations, uh, you can't see it in balance sheets. But I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that what Airbus have done is they believed two guys from the music industry who had a dream of making it easier to fly. And uh, they have stuck with that belief over the last seven years, led by Louis, in delivering that ambition and transforming travel in Asia forever. So thank you very much and this is our small way of saying thank you for uh, all that support Louis and naming this plane that will be flying around Asia always on time like your trains were. Um, <laughs> at SNCF always on time like Airbus delivers on time and like AirAsia always payment on time. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get to fly it sometime. Uh, I know you're retiring only for one week before you take over as Prime Minister of France. Um, the ceremony was supposed to be in the evening, but uh, Louis and Tom had a meeting with this woman here. Uh, her name is Angela Merkel. I don't know why he dumped her for me. I'm much better looking. Uh, but, you know, I suppose the German Chancellor is more important than someone who's bought 375 planes. Uh, anyway, take me with a pinch of salt. Louis, it's an honor for us to name this plane after you. Thank you for all you've done. We owe you and we will never forget you. Good luck in your new career and uh, you're always welcome in AirAsia anytime. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not prepared in this speech, but uh, Tony, I, 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 I want to, to thank you very much. I am extremely proud to see my name on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Every passenger could uh, see my name. Um, with, uh, when the door is open, nobody <laughs> That's good. It's uh, my twin brother, a bit younger than me, even if it's my twin brother. But uh, more important than that, Tony, is our friendship. And uh, I hope he will not stop when I am leaving the company in one week. And uh, I am sure that we will find opportunities to meet again in a football game, in Formula One, 
races, I don't know where, but uh, in any case, thank you very much for uh, your uh, trust in Airbus. Uh, thank you very much for your friendship. Uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, the, the, the fantastic image of our product you are giving in Asia. Thank you very much.